Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and I am back with a 12 by 12 layout using my secret, not secret kit that is based on the BU collection. So I have taken this paper, and it was from a paper pad, and I just gutted the back of it, and I'm going to add some white cardstock, and I'm pulling out a couple of distress inks. This one is Abandoned Coral, and that is what I am going to use to ink the edges of my white cardstock. Now, of course, I thought of this after I had already applied my tape runner, um, but it seemed to work okay. I didn't have too much trouble. So this picture that I am scrapbooking is one of my husband and I's selfies from Supercross. I think this was the one in Phoenix. So I decided that I didn't want to put my paper on directly so that it had an even border. I wanted to kind of skew it a little bit. So that is on purpose if you're looking at it going, wait, Crystal, you totally didn't get that on straight. I really did do it on purpose this time, I promise. So I just took this evergreen distress ink, put it on some packaging, and added a little bit of water. And I didn't rub the packaging together. I just let it sit with all the little bubbles and basically just kind of kissed it to the paper. I think that is Vicki Booten's um, word of how to use the packaging technique. It's kissing it to the paper, which I think is way funner. And there I am checking my messages, of course. So sorry that you have to watch that. But I am doing a little of the tissue paper that my kit came wrapped in to back my photo. And normally I do at least two layers worth. Um, and I am currently scrapbooking with my best friend, Amber. So I'm pretty sure she's sending me pictures, but because I decided to record this, I can't actually um, see it at this point. So I was just making sure there wasn't anything else. So I think there's actually four layers of tissue paper to this and I just kind of fold it and then cut along the folds and that seems to work good for me but I do love the texture that it provides and I kind of did a circle of mists and that way I figured that I would just do my picture in the center and I have this little rosette that I made, and the paper from that is actually one of the papers from the Practically Perfect from Cartabella, and I like how that turns out. And so I'm really down to scraps for this particular kit. So I'm really trying to use every little bit that I have left as far as paper is concerned. So I did gut out the paper that has all the little squares on it. And I did cut papers in half to put on each side. So the two little corner pieces that you see up on the top, that was from one of the other BU papers that I cut apart and uh, there's actually four of them so it's going to work out good. I'm going to put two on the top and two on the bottom and just taking what I have left as far as embellishments from the embellishment pack and um, from my little bag of goodies and I guess I'm just sprinkling them around the page, per se. Um, that little, I don't, I don't know what it's called. It's not really a tassel. It's 
and it's kind of a bow. I don't even know what they're called. So if anybody can tell me what they're called, that would be great. But they're super cute and I really like them. And I think that they would be really easy to make. It's just got to be a bunch of embroidery floss and then tie it in the middle and then cut it, right? Like it shouldn't be that hard. Like if I did some DIY embellishments, like I could maybe make that one. <laughs> so um, if any of you have actually tried to make them, please leave a comment down below and let me know how it goes because I would love to know how easy they are to make because if they're easy, I might actually consider doing them. Otherwise, I'll probably just call Christina and say, please send me some more of these because I love them. Um, I contemplated putting that little die cut piece that says told you so over on this particular photo, but I think it didn't really fit because I didn't really tell my husband anything. Um as far as the the race went, like the particular person that I like has been racing forever since we were young. He's one of the last ones and he's like the oldest one, which I still think he might be younger than me, but I think he's still the oldest one. And so there's this big joke about him. So I do have some fun pictures coming up that I am going to scrapbook about that. Um, and he didn't win. So I couldn't be like, I told you so that my guy was going to win, but because he didn't. But um, so these little wood buttons are so cute. And I don't know about you guys, but I have like the craziest amount of buttons. Like I went crazy when buttons were popular, just like when, um, what were the brads were popular? Like I bought them in every color. I have the little jars from Ikea and they are all separated by color and they look super cute, <laughs> but I haven't used them. So, um, I really do like these better. So this is my layout, added a couple of sequins. So I hope you enjoyed this process and I got some close-ups here for you. And if you're interested in the Secret Not Secret Kit Club, which is amazing, I will link, uh, leave a link down below for Christina. And just remember to wear your crown and you guys have a great, great scrappy day. Bye.